The following video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to maintenance the 2.5 through 4 inch Derringer 30 double check detector assembly backflow preventer. These are the tools required. Close the number 2 shutoff valve. Close the number 1 shutoff valve. Open test cock number 4. Open bypass test cock number 2. Open bypass test cock number 1. Open test cock number 3. Open test cock number 2. Do not open test cock number 1. Use a pipe wrench to loosen the meter couplings on both sides of the meter. Examine the meter coupling gaskets for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. Reinstall the meter and retighten the meter couplings with a pipe wrench. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the check valve cover. Remove the spring from the valve body. Remove the check poppet from the valve body. Remove the seat assembly from the valve body. Examine the check cover o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the o-ring if necessary. Examine the spring for damage. Examine the check seat for damage and debris. Examine the check seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the o-ring if necessary. If debris is found on the check disc, the check may just be fouled. The debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check disc. Once the debris has been cleaned from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged disc. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the check disc retaining bolt. Remove the check disc retaining washer. Remove the check disc. Use a flathead screwdriver if necessary. Install new check disc and make sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the check disc retaining washer. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to retighten the check disc retaining bolt. Reinsert the check seat assembly into the valve body. Reinsert the check poppet into the valve body. Reinsert the spring into the valve body. Reinstall the check cover onto the valve body. Use an adjustable wrench to retighten the check cover. To remove the access cover, use a combo wrench to remove the six cover bolts. Make sure to keep the tapered washers with the access cover bolts. Remove the valve access cover. To remove the first check, loosen the check retaining bolt located on both sides of the body until flush with the inside of the valve. Remove the first check from the valve body. Loosen the tower screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. Separate the tower assembly from the seat. If debris is found on the first check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. The debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc.
Examine the seat for any debris or damage. Examine the seat O-ring for damage and debris. Replace the seat O-ring if necessary. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the seal disc retaining screws. Remove the seal disc retainer to expose the disc. Remove the seal disc. Install new seal disc and make sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the seal disc retainer. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the seal disc retainer screws. Reattach the tower assembly to the first check seat. Make sure the tower assembly is in the proper orientation before tightening down the tower screws. Make sure the check seat protrusions are at the top side of the check. Make sure the check spring arms and the tower bosses on the tower assembly are facing upwards to allow the check to swing open downwards during operation. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, re-tighten the tower screws. To remove the second check, loosen the check retaining bolts located on both sides of the body until flush with the inside of the valve. Use a flathead screwdriver to gently remove the second check from the body. Loosen the tower screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. Separate the tower assembly from the seat. If debris is found on the second check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. The debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc. Examine the seat for any debris or damage. Examine the seat O-ring for damage and debris. Replace the seat O-ring if necessary. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the seal disc retaining screws. Remove the seal disc retainer to expose the disc. Remove the seal disc. Install new seal disc and make sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the seal disc retainer. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the seal disc retainer screws. Reattach the tower assembly to the second check seat. Make sure the tower assembly is in the proper orientation before tightening down the tower screws. Make sure the check seat protrusions are at the top side of the check. Make sure the check spring arms and the tower bosses on the tower assembly are facing downwards to allow the check to swing open upwards during operation. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, re-tighten the tower screws. Reinstall the second check into the valve body. Make sure the O-ring seals properly against the surface. Retighten the second check retaining bolts on both sides of the body. Make sure the second check retaining bolts don't bind against the check. Reinstall the first check into the valve body. Retighten the first check retaining bolt on both sides of the body. Make sure the first check retaining bolts don't bind against the check. Examine the access cover o-ring for damage or debris. 
Replace the O-ring if necessary. Place the access cover onto the valve body. Install tapered washers onto access cover bolts. When reinstalling the access cover bolts, engage all six bolts one thread. Hand tighten all six cover bolts. Using a combo wrench, tighten the two center bolts. Tighten down the four remaining bolts. Slightly open the number one shutoff valve. Close the number two test cock. Close the number three test cock. Close bypass test cock number one. Close bypass test cock number two. Close the number four test cock. Fully open the number one shutoff valve. Perform a test on the backflow preventer according to your local testing regulations to ensure the check valves have been repaired properly. Fully open the number two shutoff valve. For more information about the Derringer product line, further technical support, or to download a printed copy of these instructions, please visit our website at backflowdirect.com.